Hey guys, it's Dave from Nerd Caliber. I'm here with Adam Warrock, best rapper in the universe. <laughs> what's going on? What's going? <laughs> Dude, what's going on? I just uh, I just finished a tour opening for MC Chris. That was 44 cities in 53 days across the country. Uh, and then I had some time when I was hanging out in New York where the show ended and uh, I did some shows in the Northeast uh, with this other guy from the Northeast named Shane Hall. And now I'm at Kamikaze in Somerville, Mass. right now at a, an amazing comic shop and I'm going kind of back to my roots. I kind of started out doing live shows by bringing PA systems to comic stores and just doing shows. And uh, now we're gonna have a, a little blowout show tonight, just to, to have a good time in in Boston. Boston? This is Boston, right? Yeah. This Somerville. Is Somerville's, uh, you know, part of part of Boston. Now, what came first, the comics or the rap? Oh, that's a good question. I think the comics came first. Uh, Always a fan. Yeah, you know, like I I started out collecting. Uh, like basketball cards and baseball cards and then when I started reading comics at the grocery store in the magazine section while my mom shopped uh, yeah you too um, you kind of like realized that you could collect something that had like a story and that you could get like emotionally invested in and so I started reading comics from when I was like nine years old I still remember the first comic I ever bought it was a, it was an Avengers annual uh, from 1989 it's called it's like part four or five of the terminus factor and I still have it at home, and it was like an annual, I had no idea what was going on, but I just thought it was so cool. And uh, I just kept going every single Wednesday after that to a local comic store, and then, you know, the rap came when I was an angry, angsty teenager in high school, I guess. Something like that. Now, when you first started out, Adam, what did your, what was some of the feedback from your parents and your friends? I mean, did, did they look highly upon this, or what was some of the feedback you got and the hurdles you had to come uh, jump over? It's funny because, you know, and I guess like to explain, like I, I do music full time as a guy who raps about comic books and other geeky stuff. Uh, and I quit a, a, jo a steady job to do this. And uh, you always get like an opposite reaction from people. Like you think your parents are going to hate it. You think your family's going to think you're crazy. You think that you're, and you think your friends are going to be like all supportive. And it, it turns my parents were pretty, you know, they were pretty supportive. You know, I'd gone through school and grad school and they, they kind of knew there was nothing they could do to stop me. And uh, it's not like I didn't have any kind of plan whatsoever. And then there were a lot of friends who worked professional nine to five jobs, and they they were the ones who were just like, "You're crazy!" And like, there was jealousy. <laughs> maybe maybe it was jealousy. Maybe it was like me reminding them that they wanted to quit their job too. But uh, but at the same time, a lot of people came out of the woodwork for me and really supported. So you find it in the unlikeliest places, but. It's kind of like you you really can't predict how people are going to support. It's just kind of like you just tell them and they kind of compute it and then they react the way they do. But my parents, like, you know, everyone's like, oh, Asian parents, how are they going to react? They've been more supportive than most people would assume, so it's been nice. This is the first time in history I've ever performed this song live. It's called Mal, and it's based on Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly. I guarantee I will mess this up. <laughs> Your latest album that's out, um, 
care to talk about this and like some of the inspiration that comes to your work? Yeah, I mean, the the last thing I released officially, I, so I do a lot of free stuff on my website that kind of comes out every week, um, and I do mixtapes for free. And the last thing that I released officially was called the Brown Coats mixtape, which was this mixtape about fire, the TV show Firefly, where we sampled all the the score from it. It was a guy named Michael Kill from the Thought Criminals in North Carolina, and uh, it was just a whole album about Firefly, which sounds weird but we took it very seriously and uh, we worked way harder on it than things that we probably charge money for and it I mean people responded really well I got you know tweeted about by Nathan Fillion which immediately crashed my servers uh, for like the next hour and a half and uh, it, it's just gotten insane amount of coverage and uh, before that it was there was an EP out that had uh, just a lot of comic stuff on it like we were talking earlier it has like an, an Ultron song and it has a song about it has a single Marvel vs. DC, which is like kind of a calling card that I kind of have in my music catalog. And uh, it's just a mixture of like a lot of free stuff. And then every once in a while, you, you can buy an album if you want to. So, you know. Yeah, I noticed, uh, guys, I checked out on Facebook, on your Facebook page. I recently liked you and I, I listened to a lot of great free samples there. So uh, check out more out there. Um, so what's coming up down the road for you? What, what do you have on the tables next? You know, what's next in the cosmos? I uh, I've been traveling since September 5th, and I won't be home home until December 6th. Where's home? Uh, Memphis, Tennessee. And um, so when I get home, I have a I have this EP that's probably gonna be longer than EP. It's probably gonna be like 12 songs at this point. But um, there uh, I'm gonna work on that, release that hopefully in February or spring. Uh, it's gonna have like a lot of guests, and I actually just announced the guest yesterday. It's gonna have uh, MC Lars, Dr. Awkward. Uh, a guy I work with, Tribe One from Atlanta, and this this uh, young cat starting out from Atlanta named Gary Samurai. Nice. Um, so that's going to be like a, a kind of a big release, and we're very excited about it. Uh, production by a new guy named Vince Vandal from Balt from Baltimore. I'll say it correctly. <laughs> that's right. I've been there. Uh, and then after that, you know, we're going to do more shows. I'm going to be at Emerald City Comic Con in Seattle in March. Uh, probably doing stuff with Kirby Crackle, who are from there. A really awesome geek rock band. If you never check them out. And then I don't know. You know, this Chris tour kind of came like if. Last year in January, I didn't know I was going to do the Chris tour, so I'm sure that something's going to happen this next year that's going to be even crazier. So for now, I'm just going to do the show tonight in Somerville at Kamikaze. So things are keep on growing, and uh, that's good. We we give you our full support. Last question I want to ask you is a little geeky. Have you ever thought of uh, having a counterpart? Like, doesn't that Adam Warlock have the Magus? And uh, you ever thought of sporting like an Infinity Gauntlet or, or going that far? I'll make one for you. I have talked to a, a cosplay prop designer oh. about making a very elaborate infinity gauntlet. I just haven't had the time or the organization to do it. But I want, I, I, it would be cool. And, and it's funny because the first, my debut album was based loosely on uh, the infinity gauntlet, right? Hence the name. And that kind of, that story ended. So the next full length that comes out, which will be at, towards the end of next year, is actually going to be a direct sequel to that. And I guess it's not going to be the, Mag the Magus or whatever his name is. Magus, I don't know how to say it. But, we're going to base it on a DC crossover, so it's going to be spiraling into a different direction and will be very big, hopefully. But uh, I don't know. I've actually thought about that. But then I, re I went back and reread like Infinity War with yeah. where he comes out, and I was like, it's not really as good as I remembered it as a kid. Yeah, no, yeah I know. It doesn't it's hold little... up as much as I wanted to. I think so. Thanos is a much better villain. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, I still, that's still my favorite comic is the Infinity Gauntlet. So. Mine too, bro. Awesome. So, Well, Adam, uh, thank you very much for your time. And... Uh, Thanks. You catch Adam Warrock online, adamwarrock.com, right? Yep. And check him out on Facebook and other social networking sites. Thank you to Kamikaze for letting us use your place. And let's uh, head on over to the show. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>